Grace Monica Wanyongo was born in Sokva Bondo in Sia County on Thursday the 26th of June 1924. She was a Kenyan politician who achieved several firsts in post-independence Kenyan politics, as the first female to climb up the ranks of the political system, defying cultural barriers. Grace, who was only 27 years old then and a teacher at Kasuma Union Primary School, sent her application to the relevant council committee to allow her to act as mayor for a period of 90 days until a new mayor was elected. Luckily for her, the application went through and she was given the honor to serve on a temporary basis until a substantive mayor was elected. One of her dilemmas was how to balance her role as a teacher and her new responsibility as the acting mayor of Kasumu. She was a woman of many firsts. At a time when politics was a preserve for men, she set the trend for other women, by becoming the first African woman in Kenya to serve as mayor to be elected to parliament and to sit on the speaker's chair as temporary deputy speaker. Her political career began on April 1, 1965, after the death of Alderman Matthias Piondiek, the mayor of Kasumu who was also the first African mayor in Kenya. People thought it was related to Fool's Day because of the 1st April. However she was able to overcome this by teaching during the day, and attending council meetings in the evenings. But she also had her own ambitions which went beyond just serving as temporary mayor. She wanted to be the mayor of Kasumu. Having caught the political bug, and with her feet firmly on the ladder, she believed she could climb even higher. Her plan was to be elected as Kalalini Ward Councillor then contest for mayoral position. She used her 90 days of acting mayor to lay the groundwork for her election by making housing the main agenda of her campaign. Eventually she did emerge victorious in an election dominated by male candidates. She used her 90 days of acting mayor to lay the groundwork for her election by making housing the main agenda of her campaign. Eventually she did emerge victorious in an election dominated by male candidates. Unfortunately she was caught up in a vicious political battle between Tom Mboya who supported then President Kenyatta against Odingaism. She had only served less than a year as mayor of Kasumu when Odinga fell out with Kenyatta and formed the Kenya Peelps Union. Tom Mboya, who was a senior canoe official, felt that Grace who had been elected on a canoe ticket was becoming more sympathetic to Jaramugi's KPU. Things became even more complicated when the mayor in all her political shrewdness refused to declare the party she was supporting and instead took a middle ground. During a political rally in Kasumu, Mboya who was trying to establish himself in Nyanza to curtail Odinga's influence wondered, is Grace in KPU or is she in Kanu? Mboya went on to demand that Grace tell us where she stands and we will know where we, Kanu, stand. Doubting Grace's allegiance to Kanu, Mboya asked how long can she go on buffling? Not the one to be intimidated or swayed easily. Grace eventually came out openly and declared her support for Jaramogi Ogingo Odinga. Of course she was brilliant enough to know that she was safe politically by aligning with Odinga who wielded great influence in Nyanza. Just the same way today's Luo Nyanza politicians must rally behind Rilo Odinga to be politically relevant. This shows that Luo political unity didn't start today. Her open support for Odinga did not go down well with Mboya, who declared political war against her and other KPU supporters. Mboya's opportunity to get rid of her came in 1968 local elections, when Kenyatta said during a Kanu council meeting that he wanted all candidates vying on Odinga's KPU to humiliate it. Mboya who was then President Kenyatta's strong ally took it upon himself to develop and execute the strategy that would get rid of all the KPU civic candidates among them Grace Onyongo who was seeking to reclaim her civic seat on Ogingo Odinga's KPU ticket. According to declassified papers, Kenyatta who had no compunction in planning the humiliation of KPU candidates even went as far as betting with Mboyo a lot of money if he managed to remove KPU's Grace Onyongo as the mayor of Kasumu. The aim was to embarrass Jaramogi Ogingo Odinga as much as possible in his own backyard. During the campaign period, Mboya took the battle to Grace Onyongo's Kalalini Ward in Kasumu where he declared, Kanu's campaign in Kalalini Ward would be conducted as strongly and effectively as possible and at the end of August Kasumu will have a Kanu mayor. 
Gray saw Nyong'o who was undaunted, hit back at Mboya inviting him to a debate in order to gauge who among them was popular in Kasumu. Mboya, knowing the influence Odinka had in Nyanza had already developed a plan to fail all the KPU candidates on technicalities. This included eliminating them by raising the nomination fee from Kenya shillings 500 to 1000, bringing forward the nomination date without notice, making various surprise demands such as the presentation of tax receipts and scrutinizing minor errors on the forms. In Kasumu all the 22 KPU candidates including Mayor Grace or Nyong'o were disqualified. To lock out the KPU candidates in Nairobi and Kasumu effectively, the government replaced town clerks who were to serve as returning officers and replaced them with DCs who could take orders directly. Gray saw Nyong'o was eliminated for filling her form wrongly. When she complained that she had filed her nomination documents correctly and in full compliance of the law yet she was disqualified, Amboya responded. Mrs. Onyongo is reaping the fruits she herself had sown, if she is asking for sympathy as a woman then she should leave politics. KPU was banned by Kanu government in October 1969 making Kanu the only party. All those KPU members including Onyongo who wanted to continue with their political careers had to face the electorates again in December 1969 on Kanu tickets. Grace vied for Kasumu Town parliamentary seat on a Kanu ticket on December 6, 1969 and became the first Kenyan woman to be elected to parliament. In parliament, Onyongo was the first woman to sit in the speaker's chair as temporary deputy speaker, and served as deputy speaker from 1979 to 1984. Her political career ended after she lost her parliamentary seat in 1984. May this strong woman rest in peace.